Hello again everyone, Jay once again with another video. I know I've had a lot of videos this month so far, more than normal, and you know October and April are the two busiest months for me because there's quite a few distributions that come out. You have all the Ubuntu flavors and Pop! OS and a number of others, but in this video I wanted to show you guys really quickly the process of installing Pop! OS 1910. Now, the process isn't any different than previous versions of Pop! OS, so if you've already seen those videos, you're probably not going to notice anything different, but, you know, generally people appreciate me keeping these videos up to date, so that's exactly what I'm going to be doing in this video. So what I'm going to do is take this laptop right here. This is a System76 Lemur. I'm going to wipe the drive and install Pop! OS 1910 on it. I've already created a bootable flash drive, I have a video on my channel already that shows you guys the process of using Etcher to create a bootable flash drive for installing whatever Linux distribution it is that you want to install. So basically what you do is you download Pop! OS. There will be a link in the show notes below that will basically direct you right to the download and then you're good to go. Now when you're prompted, you'll be prompted when you go to the download site to download either the Intel slash AMD version or the NVIDIA version. So the basic rule of thumb is if you have an NVIDIA video card on your system, even if it's not your primary device, go with that. Go with the NVIDIA version. For anything else, go with the standard Intel slash AMD version because that basically includes both and that should uh, get you what you need. Now here we are on my System76 Lemur and you're probably surprised to see Windows. I don't cover Windows much on my channel. It's learnlinux.tv after all, but I am preparing a Pop! OS video where I show you dual booting between Pop! OS and Windows, so that's why you see that. But actually, it's kind of good because, you know, a lot of you are coming from Windows, so it might be good that you see it uh, basically closer to what you would be seeing on your machine anyway. So with that out of the way, I'm going to plug in the flash drive that I created. I'm going to cancel this right here. It's just because, you know, Windows doesn't understand that format, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and restart. I'm going to press whatever key combination for my laptop accesses the boot menu. In my case, it's F7. Dell, for example, is F12, and, you know, it varies from there depending on who made your device. But basically, you want the boot device selection screen, which is what you see on my screen right now. Now I'm going to select my flash drive, which I know is this weird name right here. Uh, yours will, of course, be different. And then I'm going to select that, press Enter. And then I'm going to basically let this go. And we'll ignore all this white text. It's just uh, very verbose in telling us what it's doing during the boot process, but none of this actually matters for our purposes. So when you first boot from the Pop! OS installation media, this is the first screen that you're going to see. This is going to walk you through the installation, but before we do that, we just want to make sure that everything works. And again, like I've mentioned in all of my other installation videos, and if you've watched all of them, I'm sure you're tired of hearing me say this, but again, I want to keep these updated. But what you want to do is just make sure that everything works. So, so the first thing we're going to do is click up here and then where it says Wi-Fi not connected. This is assuming you want to use Wi-Fi. If you have a wired Ethernet connection, then of course you don't even have to do this. But you click on this and select your wireless network. So I'll select mine. Put in the password for it. And we should be good to go. So it should light up right here any second now. And it is. So right there we see the Wi-Fi icon. And we could disregard this window for now. And what we could do is just click up here to Activities and then click on Firefox Web Browser and just make sure that the internet connection is actually working. And an easy example is learnlinux.tv. Just go to my website 
and that'll ensure that your internet connection is working. But you can also click on any of these videos here just to, just to ensure that sound is working and you can watch videos. And if all that checks out, you're in pretty good shape to continue on. And here we are back at the install screen. So basically what we're going to do is erase the entire drive. So I'm assuming you've already backed up all the files on your machine that are important to you because we are wiping everything. So I just wanted to give you guys that disclaimer. So first we're just basically choosing our language. I'll leave mine as default. Again, I'll leave this as default as well. Keyboard layout. If yours is something different for this screen or any other, you can select that, but I'm gonna leave mine as the default. And then I'm gonna leave this as default here. You can also test your keyboard here to make sure your keyboard and any special characters are working. That's totally fine. And then as long as it is, you can go ahead and select the default or whatever it is you need to select here. And now we're at this screen right here. We can do a clean install, a refresh install or custom. Refresh install is for those of you that have Pop! OS installed already, which I do because I just recorded another video that I'm in the process of editing where I showed the dual boot process, so you may or may not have this option. The clean install is what we're going to be doing. We're going to basically assume that Pop! OS is to be the only distribution or operating system on your computer but if you want to dual boot with Windows, I have a separate video that shows you how to do that. So uh, assuming you've already backed up, last time I'm going to give you that disclaimer, I promise you can click on clean install and then click clean install again. Choose the hard drive. In my case, I only have this one, this SSD right here. It's a Samsung 500 gigabyte SSD. And one more time, erase and install. Now we have an option to encrypt. Now this is very useful if you have private information on your machine that if it ever got stolen would be really bad news for you or your company. It doesn't add any performance penalty that I've ever been able to notice, but I'll leave that up to you. You will be required to put in a password every time you start your computer before you even log in. To make this video simple, I'm not going to encrypt it, but you can do that if you'd like. So now at this point, Pop! OS is installing. I'm going to fast forward it and then I will be right back when this is done. All right, so as you can see right here, the installation is complete. We can go ahead and restart the device to uh, check out our new installation. So I'll do that. And here we are, we have a successful Pop! OS installation. So I know it was a relatively easy process. And again, if you've seen my many other installation videos, you know, it's the exact same thing as I always do. But, you know, I, th I think a lot of people like to have an up-to-date modern look at the current version and the installation procedure, even though it really hasn't changed much. And, you know, I've given you that in this video. So. Hopefully this helps someone out there that's wanting to get a look at the installation process for Pop! OS 1910. I have other videos on my channel. Check out my Pop! OS playlist. I have all kinds of videos in there showing you things like dual booting windows. I have an overview video, reviews of other versions. So definitely go ahead and check that out. But with uh, all that out of the way, you know, the purpose of this video has been met. You've seen the installation process. So let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for checking out my video. I really appreciate it. If you found it useful, click that like button. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe so you'll see the latest content as soon as it becomes available. If you wanna help me out, there's links down below for my Patreon page, as well as links for purchasing my Linux books and also my affiliate store which has a listing of Linux compatible hardware that I've actually tested personally. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.